Asymptote is used on the AOPS website to create diagrams. For newbies, it's difficult to create your own code from scratch, but much easier to learn and edit code that other people have created. If you are creating a solution to a problem, it can be easier to find um, a diagram in the um, homework problem sets. Uh, the, the, secret for, the secret hack for AOPS is that you can double click on any diagram and you will see that the asymptote code that was used to generate that diagram um, appears before you. All you need to do now is highlight the code and copy and paste. Again, we're going to go to the community and page down until you get to other forums and collections. And we are going to look for the test forum. And we're going to start a new topic. We don't even need to post because AOPS provides you with a preview pane. Notice I copy and paste it up above. And then when I open up the preview pane, I see the same diagram that was in the homework. We see it's a right triangle. And you can sort of uh, read through the code and see if, see if you can decipher what's going on. So for example, it looks like we've got some coordinate points here. A is at 5, 0 off to the right. B is at 0, 4 at the top. And C is at the origin. And it seems to me like if I wanted to turn this into a different Pythagorean triple, maybe a 5, 12, 13 triangle, I could put A at x equals 12, and B could be at y equals 5, and keep C in the same place. And I get a 5, 12, 13 triangle, but I don't like these labels. So instead of 40, 42, and 48, it looks like I can just edit it right here. See how much easier this is than trying to generate your own code? I'm going to make this 5, this 12, change this to 13. I'm going to click Refresh on the preview pane. Oh, look, I got 5, 12, 13 triangle. Let's say I don't want my triangle to be ABC, but I want it to be XYZ. And I think I want B to be X. So I'm going to take this B into an X. I want the right angle to be Y to be C. And we'll make this Z. And I'm going to refresh. Notice that I make small changes and I refresh frequently because you don't want to make too many changes and have something unintentional happen. And then you need to figure out what was the editing that went wrong. So make small incremental changes and refresh often. And then what you can do is you can highlight this code copy and paste it into the form that you want or the solution um, or your homework problem. Now I'm going to suggest another hack uh, to find diagrams that you can edit. You can go to back to the community and I like the LaTeX and Asymptote forum. I'm going to click on the magnifier here for search. And let's say I want to find, I want to create a diagram, a Venn diagram. So I'm going to type this into the search box, see what comes up. Let's take a look at what we have. Got this one, let's see, there's one with three circles. This one has different colors. You know, I think out of all of these, I like the first one. So let's double click on this. Again, we have the asymptote code, so I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to copy it. New topic here. And I don't necessarily need to post it here. I can just look at the preview pane. And now I can play around with this code and see if I can make it look the way I want it to. So the first thing I notice is it says bike and, and skateboard at the bottom. I think I want to change that into French and Spanish. So I found bike and skateboard here in the code. And I think I can change these. And get what I want. So I'll refresh the preview pane. Ah, French and Spanish. I don't like them at the bottom. And I'm looking at the code here next to French. It says label French and it has these um, two numbers next to it. And I'm guessing that those are the X and Y coordinates in this image. And the Y coordinate appears to be negative 0.6. I'm not 100% this is true. I'm just trying to figure out the code. So let's just fiddle around with the um, Y coordinate. I'm going to make small incremental changes. So instead of negative 0.6, I'll just put positive 1 and see what happens. Clicking Refresh. 
oh look, French went up to the top, but ooh, it's way too high. So maybe I will put 0 0.5 and not make such an extreme change. Let's see, nope, too low, about 0.6. Just right. All right, let's do the same thing to Spanish. I'm gonna get rid of that negative and hopefully we'll have the same Y coordinate, excellent. I don't like that the, um, the border here is in bold face. So let me see if I can figure out how to change that. Up here at the top, draw, there's something here called box. That's probably what I'm looking for. I'm not 100% sure. So again, small incremental changes and refresh frequently. frequently. So this line width was two before. I'm gonna switch it to one and I'm gonna refresh. That's better, looks a lot nicer. Um, I'm not sure that I'm a big fan of the colors. Let's see what we have here. Fill, shift, right, pale red, light red. Hmm, let me just change that. What happens if I change this to red? So it's kind of fun to experiment. So this looks nice, I think is really the easiest way to learn how to use asymptote. Find someone else's code and edit it. I can highlight this now and copy it and put it into, again, a post, a solution, and good luck with using asymptote at Art of Problem Solving.